Fala pessoal, beleza? Fernando Rodrigo aqui na área novamente e voltamos pessoal com mais um capítulo do Black Sad. Dessa vez nós estamos meio que perdidos. Na verdade não, né? Esse jogo a gente tem que procurar pistas e saber o que devemos fazer. Que é isso? Ah, uma carta para Sonia. Thank you, Mr. Blacksad. Does the postman always leave your mail on the floor? I don't know. I, I. Entregamos uma carta para ela. What's wrong? It's. It's my mother's wedding ring. Ou a aliança de casamento. Had it been stolen? I don't know. My father wore it on his pinky finger after she died. Not always, apparently. Will you find out why? I'll try. But there's something else I'm worried about. This might have something to do with the. Uh, okay. Ipso, ipso. Your father's death and Bobby Yale's disappearance. Oh. Oh my, yes. It could be. Okay. Big, bright eyes. Looks well rested. Either she didn't mourn her father, or she really knows how to work that makeup. What the? What's wrong? Someone's taking pictures from the rooftop. Are you sure? I'll go take a look. Eita. O cara conseguiu identificar alguém tirando foto lá de fora com a flash. Now, who's that rope for, Miss Dunn? Mm. Weekly. A uh, weekly. Uh, 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 what the hell are you doing here? Hey, look! Isn't that Cassidy? <laughs> don't change the subject, you sad little... Why don't we settle this over ice cream, huh, John? Just like in the good old days. <laughs> How did you get up here? I don't want anyone to see you. Hmm, bicho malandro, eh? Vamos lá dar uma olhada. Ele encontrou aquele envelope com o anel do, da com a aliança de casamento da, da mãe da Sônia e, e ele perguntou para a Sônia se o anel foi roubado. Ela disse que não sabe. Depois ele analisou e disse que ela está muito calma. Depois ele viu o Wendley tirando fotografias do topo do edifício lá. Everyone. Even the most hapless of creatures has a gift. Something that makes them special. That makes them worth knowing. Foul-smelling weekly is no exception. No matter what he does, it's impossible to stay mad at him for too long. Mmm. <sighs> this bourbon shake is delicious. Want a taste? You know I don't like milk. Your loss. So, Joe Dunn hangs himself 
leaves his gym to his daughter, which makes her the first woman to run a boxing gym, I think. Oh, I guess the key. The real question is, why did he commit suicide? Well, it's pretty obvious. Is that so? Care to shed some light on this, Sherlock? Well, there's no need to look for reasons. People hang themselves every day out of sadness. It's stuff like that. End of story. It's no secret that boxing and corruption go hand in hand. Dunn seemed like a decent man. Maybe he got tired of fighting. Well, it doesn't really matter. It's just a hunch. I wouldn't bet my life on it. I've got other suspects. Like O'Leary, the bookmaker. Desmond O'Leary? The same O'Leary who used to date Helen Moore? America's sweetheart? Now that's a woman. And then there's the Walrus. Who was that guy? Come on. You've never heard of Frank Cassidy? The president of the Boxing Managers Association? Who's also Stone's agent. Bobby Yale's rival. Hmm. He might know why Dunn killed himself, right? I decided to ask Weekly to investigate Cassidy. My reasons? Weekly was right. Cassidy could have known why Dunn killed himself. Weekly had already proven to be nosy. The farther I kept him from the gym, the better. But with Weekly, you just never know what the best approach might be. Should I give him an order? Or a subtle suggestion? E agora? Faço. Sugestão. Yeah, you might be right about Cassidy. But, hmm, it won't be easy to make him talk. He seems like a pretty tough cookie. Only a thorough and efficient detective could pull it off. But the problem is, I already got enough on my plate. You're a lucky man, John Black said. I don't follow. You just found the thorough detective you need. Oh, of course. What a great idea. How did I not think of you? Hey, don't sweat it. But you'll have to do me a favor. Tell Sonya Dunn that a legendary journalist from What's News wants an interview. Weekly, please. Well, if not, bye-bye, Cassidy. All right. I'll see what I can do. Great. That's settled, then. By the way, I never told you what happened to Colbert, did I? No. What happened? The rhinoceros came by and offered me money to keep quiet. Wow. Are we talking petty cash or big bucks? The latter. That's my boy. Good job, Black Sad. Your boy Black Sad didn't take the money. What? Listen, Weekly. Yeah, I know. It wasn't the right thing to do. Yada, yada, yada. Beleza, pessoal. Uh... O Weekly aí pediu uma entrevista com a Sônia e o, o John disse que ia conseguir. Depois ele contou o caso do Reino Serante lá do primeiro jogo, do primeiro capítulo. Que o Weekly tirou fotos do rinoceronte trair a mulher dele. Aí ele contou o que aconteceu. Disse que o rinoceronte ofereceu dinheiro e ele não quis. Legal. Ele, o John também sugeriu que ele fizesse uma, uma investigação. So, was there really someone on the roof? Uh, just a friend of mine. There was, but it was just a friend of mine. Oh, so now your friends are spying on you. Look, I had nothing to do with it. I even got him to stop. Sure you did. Miss Dunn, can I run a couple of questions by you? If they help you find Yale, go ahead. Uh, relation, qual relação com seu pai? 
Did you and your father get along? Let's just say our relationship got better when I left for Sunny University. An eight-hour drive from here. Meaning? I'll lay it out for you, Mr. Blacksad. My father, Joe Dunn, disappeared the day my mother died. He became a shell of himself. Joe Dunn, my legal guardian. A man who gave me food, shelter, clothing, and an education. And that's more than you need to know. Uh, What's in those papers you're going through? Red tape. Great. If you find something, please let me know. I thought you were the detective. You do your job, and I'll do mine. Ele é focada. What can you tell me about Jake? I thought you were friends. Guess I was wrong. He and my father were friends, so don't go down that road. So... Did you get along with Bobby Yale? Forget it. I wouldn't give a damn about him if it weren't for this stupid gym his stupid fight is supposed to save. Happy? What about the Mary? What do you think about Mary, the cleaning lady? Can't say. I, I barely know her. And I'm not one who's quick to judge other people. I saw you arguing with a guy named Cassidy. What did he want? Uh, remember the fight that needs to take place in order to save this gym? Well, Cassidy manages Yale's rival, Stone, the reigning champion. If Bobby doesn't show up, he'll lose money. Maybe not a lot, but enough to care. Did you find anything interesting in those papers? No. Investigation work takes time, as I'm sure you know. Did you find anything interesting in those papers? No. Investigation work takes time, as I'm sure you know. Dunn kept files on the gym's staff and clients. Name, address, and date of birth. Yeah, okay. Okay, ali apontou o negócio. Vamos ver o que a gente consegue entender. Uh, there's something. Sim, fazer alguma ligação aqui. A name Arthur. A data de nascimento, dia 7 de 12 de 29. Não. Uh, ok, lata de tinta. This much. The chest expander in the trash belongs to Yale. Okay. Tem mais um pra gente. Tem mais duas pistas que podemos resolver aqui. Vamos ver. Ah, uh, okay.
Você com a marcotita, né, cara? Também não? Uau! Será que tem alguma ligação com... Não. Você com você? Não. Caramba. Arto... Quem é esse Arto? Calls to Joy Opa! Será que é esse aqui? Não. Bem. Você. Você. Check your way. Será que é esse? Opa! Hum. Were Mary Purnell and Joe Dunn an item? Uh, better and don't wear sin with other. Ah, ok, eles estão se vendo. I'd like to take a look inside that safe now. Could you give me the combination? I'd love to help you, but my mother's birthday used to be the combination, but I already tried it. Use uma, use uma coleção aleatória, use uma... Could you tell me your birthday? Of course, March 6th. And the year? I'm 24, Mr. Blacksad. You do the math. No luck. Okay. Vamos a combinação aleatória. Damn. Eu acho que não vai funcionar, né? Ok, vamos lá. Ah, ok. Aniversário da, sua, da esposa dele não abre o cofre. Nenhuma ligação com nada aqui, cara. Não tem nada a ver. Opa! Hum. 
Hmm. What if Mary's birthday is the combination to the safe? Aniversário de mérito, talvez abra o cofre. Vamos ver. Seem like a happy family. essa opção Dunn's room had quite a view Did you find anything interesting in those papers? No. Investigation work takes time as I'm sure you know. Yes, I know. Ok, entendi. Se eu ler com direito, ler direitinho, a gente entende, né? Procurar a data de nascimento da menina. Ok. Vamos ver se a gente encontra. E lá está. Mary's birthday. Mary. A week prior to that very day. Ok, vamos lá então agora no cofre. Ah, usar a data de aniversário da Mary. Será que ele tinha um caso com ela? Oh! A uh, password sem as corretas, né? Vamos dar. Uh, como é que é? Uh, last will. Ah, ok. Último testamento que ele deixou. You open the safe? Yeah, and I think you need to see this. Eu acho que você precisa ver isto. Can you tell me what it says? All right. Okay. I think this might be useful for the investigation, Mr. Detective. He left everything to me, except some boxing trophies and knickknacks that will go to Bobby Yale. Congratulations. You're one lucky lady. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. Do you think Bobby Yale read it before he disappeared? Maybe. When was it signed? It was written four years ago, just weeks after I moved to Buffalo. All Thanks. Right. Thanks. Money. A few bucks, just petty cash. Hmm. I never would have taken Dunn for a gun owner. No 
Eu acho que aqui está completo. Interview com Apple, testes for now, what you can tell about. I never asked about the gym's insurance. That's exactly what I'm reading now. So far it looks like your standard small business policy. I think I know who had your mother's ring. You do? Purnell. I think she was in love with your father. Thank you. Thank you. Shall we have a all day? You see, I've got this friend. He's a journalist, and uh, the thing is, well, on second thought, forget I said anything. I see quick to forget your friends. Did you find anything interesting in those papers? No. Investigation work takes time, as I'm sure you know. Did you find ah, anything não, interesting in those papers? Cara. No. Investigation work takes time, as I'm sure you know. Sonia's measurements stop at 18, and there's a gap in Bobby's between ages 15 and 17. Certo, e agora o que nós vamos fazer? Vamos subir lá em cima? Vem pro lado do eixo. Conseguiu entrar aqui, né? Subir o teto. Olha, esse cara tirou a madeira que depois ele passou. Tranquilo, vamos descer então. Cara do bacana. Ué, cadê o diabo? Did you know Joe Dunn had a gun in his safe? No way, man. He hated firearms. Although, when Bobby Yale was a teenager, he went through a crazy phase. Even dropped out of the gym and joined the gang. Nothing serious. 
Early one morning, he broke into Jim. Joe was already here and caught him red-handed. Bobby pointed the gun at Dunn and ordered him to open the safe. So, Joe opened it and asked Bobby to put the gun aside, leave the gang, and start boxing again. I got here five minutes later and found Bobby crying like a baby in Joe's arms. Then he just stood up and put on his gloves. Ok, estive estrelhando. Ok. Esse lado aqui a gente não consegue nada, né? Oh, caraca, velho. Onde que tem uma figurinha? Mike Butter, é isso? Ah não, é autor. Opa! Smells like ah, paint. É. Tinta. Ah, uh, there I uh, still ok. Uh, uma foto. Que Deus criou a terra e esse que doideira. Bastards. The proud south. Hmm. Opa. Deixa eu ver se de cima aqui. Tá, tá aberto. Na, ah, não é nada demais, o a gente já viu Olha só Que interessante What the hell? Jake Give me one good reason not to smash it in your face. What the hell are you doing in my locker? I'm afraid you're a detective. I'm a detective. That's what I do. Yeah, and my friend too. But that's what I thought. That's what they say. Get off me! Sometimes, John, I can just punch him. <laughs> Vou ligar você com com você, certo? Why do you have that pen, Jake? What mess are you in? Uh, Jake não disse nenhuma palavra sobre Larry, de Larry. Ok, lata de tinta. Vamos combinar você com você. Arthur Tucker painted the racial slur on Yale's locker.
Damn. I'd forgotten that Jake used to work for Natalia. This proves I was right. It's too soon to move on. Ali não é um armário ali embaixo, a gente não tem acesso a ela. É, não tem. Sai daqui, gato. Okay, Jake. I told you. Desmond O'Leary. Huh? I know you work for him. Now you're just making stuff up. Why would you say that? Told you. O'Leary's men told me a while ago. Okay. Let's say you're right. So what? What are you gonna do, huh? I'm a detective. What do you think I'll do? Yeah, definitely better detective than friend. All right, you win, pussycat. Business isn't going that well lately. Natalia was my last well-paying job, and it's been a while. Then O'Leary shows up and offers me a, 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 a bodyguard contract. What was I supposed to do? Is there no? You could have said no. Yeah. Like you never take uh, shady business. I'd never take a job like that. As a matter of fact, I turned one down today. Hey, uh, O'Leary might run an illegal gambling operation, but it's not like he's killing people or conning widows. And I, I'm just a bodyguard. I make sure no one gets hurt. What I do, including my contract, paycheck, is 100% legal. How bad can that be? O'Leary pays you with dirty money, and you're part of a criminal organization. There's no two ways about it, but that's not what bothers you. I'm starting to think you played a role in Joe Dunn's death. Who? Me? Come on, John! Then why are you lying? Well, I guess there's no point in hiding it now. I was here the day Dunn died. Go on. I had to take care of some business for O'Leary. He makes me wear the shamrock when I work for him. As you know, I left the damn thing in my locker. Say no more. You came in the back door. How did you... Yeah, that's it. Joe had mentioned he'd been painting that afternoon, but I forgot. I stopped in my tracks when I saw him screaming bloody murder at Bobby Yale at the top of the scaffold. What exactly was he saying? Uh, something like, uh, if you do that, I'll call up the fight and make sure you never set foot in this gym again. I didn't want them to see me, so I left. Jake, why didn't you tell me? See, I knew you'd be mad. Obviously. I'm sorry, John. I, I should have said something. Don't worry. We all make mistakes. Time to go. I need to think about everything you just told me. Thanks, John. Bem pessoal, eu vou ficar com essa gameplay por aqui. No próximo capítulo a gente dá continuidade e vamos verificar essas informações que o goleiro passou.
beleza? Fiquem com Deus, um grande abraço, até mais, fui!